One last question from Jay here in the chat. He's asking what your opinion on workflow engines is. Uh, replacing Airflow or replacing something like Airflow, do you have any experience with that? Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, I mean, uh, not replacing Airflow itself, but uh, I replaced Jenkins through the Airflow uh, because basically um, this is one of the cases of data integration. So I don't, I don't know if you have, we have more time, but I, I will, I will talk anyways. So basically, we used to make all the orchestration inside of the Jenkins. So basically, it was uh, some kind of bash script that uh, runs some SQL that uh, extract the data from the database, open the connection of the database, dump the data in some kind of CSV file and then push the CS file to the S3, for example. In the Jenkins, there are some problems in terms of orchestration, how to make this pipeline, uh, um, make this kind of uh, uh, dependency tree along the, along the, along the steps. And then the second, uh, the pipelines of the Jenkins are not so uh, transparent for us in terms of, of, uh, of code. So we just put inside of the Jenkins, they just uh, pray to, 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 to work. And uh, if something goes bad, we don't know, for example, which processes are, 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 are in jeopardizing because of, of the error inside of Jenkins. And we move to the airflow. I think in terms of orchestration, I don't have much to complain about Airflow. I think it's a very good tool to do this. But my concerns about the Airflow, I think Airflow is too much over-engineered in, in terms of simple things that you can do. I mean, you used to, a small disclaimer, I used to work with the Microsoft uh, um, stack for a long, long time in my career. And for example, some things that are, are completely transparent and uh, super easy to do, if, for example, in the SQL agents, for example, just to schedule a job in some period of time and uh, put this job in the, in the code, for example, and then, and then make sure that this job are, are going to run. Um, Airflow with their, uh, uh, especially their database connections are quite hacky in some way. And uh, especially if you're using with the salary, a salary executor, uh, you cannot do some kind of some kind of uh, real orchestration. Just uh, for example, speed up several different uh, processes at the same time and uh, hope then to execute in parallel. So we, we have some some problems on that, especially if you're using with the Kubernetes. But um, but I mean, just to to make more clear my point, I mean, I like Airflow, but I think Airflow is a quite over engineering in that aspect. So I recommend, I recommend for sure to use the Airflow, but using very straightforward DAGs, you know, like if you need to use several different connectors or if you have a very complex uh, dependence tree in terms of, in terms of orchestration, so maybe you can, you can find some hassle to, to use Airflow. Great. Well, Looks like that's all we got for today. Flavio, big thank you for coming and joining us and explaining about all of this and dropping some knowledge on us.